Her smile alone can light up the vast plains of central Texas. Her humor was infectious. But lovely Rachel Cook has been silenced at the age of 19. She just flat disappeared. It's almost as if the vivacious young college student had been sucked into a black hole or plucked from the earth. Even the sheriff at the time had no answers for anguished loved ones. He looks me square in the eye and says, for all we know, an alien spaceship came down here and took her away. But sadly, the mystery of Rachel Cook remains just that. It's a guessing game. People ask me, what do you think happened? I have no clue what happened. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I'd have a memorial tree for my daughter. When Janet and Joanne Cook visit this thriving tree of life in Georgetown, Texas, it brings them as spiritually close as they can get to their missing loved one. She was so pretty, she was so athletic. We were just really, really close, very much alike in a lot of different ways. Let's go back to when she was a little girl. What was she like? She was an extremely giving person. If a friend was in need, she was there. Rachel had one particular passion. How big a part of her life was running? It was huge. Um, she got really big into cross country, track. She could just keep going like an Energizer bunny. She just kept running and running and running. Rachel was a lone star stunner, but the eternal sunshine and whipping waves of the West Coast were beckoning. How did she end up leaving Georgetown? She was always drawn to California. She thought it was a land of vegetarians and, you know, good music and, and beaches. And off she went to the coastline near San Diego where Rachel enrolled in community college. And most of all, she wanted to be with Greg West, a man she met shortly after moving to the coast. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the real thing. This is it. This is, this is what it feels like. I mean, butterflies, we were so goofy together. Do you want to pose? It was incredible. She was, she was amazing. She was with Greg, and she was very happy with that relationship, and it meant a lot to her. She was just talking to me about, like, I think that, you know, he's the one. The couple made plans to move in together, and Rachel invited her California boy to Texas for the Christmas holidays. Greg couldn't stay the whole trip. He had to get back to San Diego for work. Rachel planned to be with her family a few more days, but in fact, she would never make it back to San Diego, at least as far as anyone knows. Tell me about the morning that she disappeared. That morning, Joanne and I went to leave for work. Rachel was laying on the couch, and I walked over and Joanne said, Mom, don't wake her up. And I went over and I kissed on her and I said, love you, bye. And that's what her response was. She was sleeping. She was sleeping, leave me alone, Mom. Rachel's father, Robert, also left for work that morning, leaving Rachel with the house to herself. We know that her boyfriend, who was in California at the time, Greg West, talked to her around 9, 9.15, and she was talking about going for a run. She was fine, she was, you know, happy to talk to me, of course, and then, uh, you know, I said, have you been running yet? She's like, no, not yet, but I'm gonna go. I'm like, okay, cool, well, just like, call me afterwards or whatever. Rachel shakes off the grogginess and suits up for her six mile morning run before planning to spend the rest of the day with her dad, Robert. She was supposed to hang out with her father in the afternoon. He was gonna take off work early and they were gonna go shopping. She had a wedding she was getting ready for. Rachel begins her run in the quiet, rural, familiar, and crime-free neighborhood where she grew up. When she went running, she uh, ran to the east of her house and there was a gentleman working on a piece of equipment spreading dirt uh, for a new home that was under construction and he saw her run by. There was an elderly couple walking in the neighborhood that lived next door to Rachel Cook and, and they saw her as well. Six different people saw Rachel running that day. Some even saw her finishing up in a cool down just two houses from her own. But that would be the last time anyone would ever see or speak to Rachel Cook. She disappeared within 100 yards from her home. It seems unfathomable. A young woman in broad daylight in bright colored athletic wear seen by scores of neighbors. Here one second, 
gone the next. Everybody has a theory, and but there's no evidence to support anybody's theory, including some of our theories. Coming up, faces of suspicion re-examined. There are more than one person on that list until evidence proves otherwise. A bitter ex-boyfriend and a convicted killer pique the interest of investigators. And a father flunks a polygraph. I remember getting a call from one of her family members saying, hey, something big is going to go down. We're going to have a press conference, and I think we got him.